where do we draw the line of this is a good show in comparison to I've seen enough, I don't need to watch anymore. This has nothing to do with this right here. Has absolutely nothing to do with this. Nothing. You know what episode 17 of Naruto has has to do with the first episode of Naruto? A demon that possesses this fucking child. Okie dokie. So, um, I totally forgot what the fuck I wanted to talk about in this video. Oh, shit. But I remember distinctly it was a Naruto to Boruto comparison. And, uh... It was really important because it has to do with the start of watching an anime. Um, I wanted to do, thank you Plank, a comparison with episode 17, yes, thank you. So I wanted to compare part one Naruto and Boruto, the beginning. And I think it's very interesting and this speaks to One Piece, it speaks to Fire Force, it speaks to not Demon Slayer, because Demon Slayer is good from episode one. Um, <laughs> Anime is a little tough to get into, especially when a lot of people see something like One Piece or Dragon Ball and see that it is super fucking long. Which you would think, if you like it, you want to watch it. Okay, I get it. But let's take Boruto for an example. I appreciate everybody that likes Boruto. I'm glad you like it. I particularly do not fuck with it, except for this most recent arc, and I'll tell you why. There is so much more nostalgia, and even though, yes, we did go over all the stuff that is filler in part one of Naruto and Shippuden, and it is by far, ratio-wise, more than One Piece, because I feel like I have to say that, because then it sets up this portrayal that I know what the fuck I'm talking about, which I rarely ever do, which is why we use Google for everything. I'm going to compare episode 17 of Naruto because it's the first glimpse of the Ninetale Fox in comparison to episode 17 of Boruto. Now, the introduction of Boruto, not great. The first episode where we get to see the tattoos, we get to see Kawaki, we get to see that the leaf is destroyed, we get to hear that Naruto is dead, sets the bar so fucking high that it's like, oh, this, this show's going to be great. But then when your entire show is filler nonsense, it's like, how can you even, uh, I don't, uh, what? How do you even explain that? So, and this actually speaks to other anime where what is it, how long do you watch a show before you're either attached or you drop it? Now, I used to have a three to five episode rule. Episode 3 of Naruto, this is what we got. Friends and foes, okay? It establishes Sakura, it establishes Sasuke, it also establishes what Naruto is like as a character. Okay, cool. In, be in between episodes 3 and episode 5 of season 1 of part 1. All great episodes. Just before shit hits the fan in episode 6 and we're introduced to Zabuza and the scaling and how important high power ninjas are all within the first 10 episodes all within the first 10 we get an establishment of what naruto is like he is the number one knucklehead ninja of the hidden leaf it is literally a slogan of what this character is like it is a slogan of what we can expect from this character cool I don't get the same depiction from the first 10 episodes of Boruto. For the first 10 episodes of Boruto, we get, we understand that he's a whiny little brat. He has no unique abilities in his own. He's literally just a carbon copy of what his dad was like when he was a kid, minus all the challenges. And also in Naruto, in the original Naruto, which it's hard to compare these two, it is, but we're just going to compare these few aspects within the first 10 episodes because that's usually when people get attached to a show because especially for One Piece fans, it gets good is not an excuse. It is absolutely not an excuse and it needs to stop. People need to stop saying it. Black Clover, people need to stop saying it gets good. Okay, I understand that it gets good. It didn't start good. You have to start. Naruto starts good. Like, maybe not in the first few episodes, 
Actually, the first episode where we get the multi-shadow clone jutsu and he beats the shit out of one of his teachers seems pretty good. Boruto? The Kawaki tattoo thing? The leaf is destroyed? Okay, you got me attached! But then they do nothing with it after the fact. I shouldn't have to wait until episode 65 where Naruto and Sasuke finally show up and fight Momoshiki. That shouldn't be the attraction. You know what I mean? Because if you're only given your first impression, which you're dumb if you think first impressions don't matter, if the first 10 episodes are your first impression of this show, this show is not great. This show is absolutely not great. And all I'm asking is simple yes or no questions. That's it. Because in a 22 minute runtime, let's let's go to Google here. So we're gonna go to a 22 minute show times 10 episodes. This is now three and a half hours of content. You mean to tell me that you are watching three and a half hours of content and you haven't found anything that you really like except for the first episode because it establishes that what the world is like. The world is now in apocalypse. That's the interesting part. If the interesting part is a part that you're not focusing on, I don't, I don't fucking care. I absolutely don't fucking care about this. And then Kakashi doesn't show up until later. Konohamaru doesn't show up until later. And that's given if you have the context of understanding what these characters are like. Naruto, on the other hand, we get introduced to Kakashi, Zabuza, uh, Misuki, and Aruka. Those are the most powerful characters that we were introduced And Haku. Those are the most powerful characters that we are introduced to, and they're interesting, and the show sticks to those characters. You see how that deviation doesn't work for Boruto? Because if you show me something super interesting at the beginning, I'm like, yo, I can't wait to watch the rest of this. And then nothing has anything to do with it all the way up until where we are now, 133 episodes later, and we're getting into filler this most interesting part is filler why why i i don't understand the concept behind that i don't understand the whole it gets better if it's not good if it can't be good within the first three to ten hours what are we doing and that's the only thing i want to present and specifically episode 17 so we're gonna click episode 17 for both of these shows and we're just gonna get a little bit of an understanding about where everything is it is because obviously we would have had to have watched up until this point for naruto the opening scene without context without context let's pretend like none of us have seen naruto without context his friend is dying <laughs> what this is dope this establishes like who Naruto is, he has this nine-tailed fox demon, it gets fucking hype. Episode 17 of Boruto? Sarada is having a conversation with her mom. This is all great. And this is how I know whatever is going on is not important. I don't I don't understand what's happening. This is without context. This is without understanding who these characters are. This is without understanding literally anything. This has nothing to do with this right here. Has absolutely nothing to do with this. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know what episode 17 of Naruto has, has to do with the first episode of Naruto? A demon that possesses this fucking child. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm just putting apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Now, if you disagree with me, that's great. I'm glad you disagree. That's the whole purpose, of this conversation, of this video. I just want to know, where do we draw the line of, this is a good show in comparison to, I've seen enough, I don't need to watch anymore. Because people always get mad at me when I say I don't like One Piece, One Piece is trash, One Piece is not great, it's not fun to watch. I watched the first 35 episodes of One Piece as an adult, okay? And it is boring as shit. That is 10 hours of content. You mean to tell me that out of, 
I'm not even going to compare it to the fact that it has over 900 some odd episodes. We won't even look at that. We'll look at the fact of... You want me to sacrifice 10 hours of my life and I'm not entertained one time. That seems a little unfair to ask, don't you think? That's like if we watched a movie, right? It was a three hour movie and I told you the movie doesn't get good until two hours and 45 minutes in. Are you trying to watch that movie? I don't think so. I absolutely don't think so. Even though I'm telling you, yo, that last 15 minutes is hype though. It's, it's absolutely hype. That's like if we watch Avengers Endgame and there's not a single interesting thing that happens until everybody comes back from the dead. The whole movie is just a waste. So, I don't know. All I'm saying is give, give people the benefit of the doubt when they say a show is horrible, a show is bad, they don't like it, and they tell you how much of that show that they watched. Now, if you feel that you're right and you're like one piece one piece really is good and it's it's the greatest and it's outselling all of these things even though demon slayer is now outselling one piece but you know <laughs> i'm only stating facts here um <laughs> even though you want to be so hardcore about one piece or my hero academia or dragon ball or whatever the fuck it is and somebody tells you it's trash and they tell you that they've watched 35 episodes of the show not three episodes not five episodes i'm just speaking to my context now not 10 episode 35 10 hours of a block of your life 10 hours is a long fucking time that's a long fucking time to watch a show and none of it was good i think it's safe to say that even though you like the show because you've watched it past episode 35 and you understand that it does get good and you feel that it's worth it i don't feel that sacrificing 10 hours of my time is worth watching something shitty now if you you like that that's great i'm glad you like it but i'm not talking about you so also i can say sometimes it's worth it sometimes it is but i think use your best judgment and a lot of people like to say well you're not supposed to watch one piece you're supposed to read it you want me to read <laughs> you want me to read a manga Bro, the reason why English dub and people have an issue with subbed versus dubbed is the fact that when a dub is on, I can understand what the fuck is going on without looking at the screen. That is the biggest benefit to watching a dub. I can be on my phone and hear Naruto screaming Sasuke's name while I'm texting all three of my side bitches that I don't have. Okay? That's the most important part. Subbed? I have to be looking at the screen. The entire fucking time. The entire time. God forbid if I miss a word. Because my comprehension <laughs> and fucking reading skills are not at a fifth grade level. Excuse me. God. Come on now. But all I'm saying is it makes sense. And comparison, comparing these two shows, I feel like, is a really, really, really good example of that. But if you guys have objections or if you guys want to uh you know bash me in the comments or this isn't right or whatever please go ahead i don't give a shit i don't read them anyway <laughs> so um yeah that's pretty much it um 